Hi, good morning. Uh, today we are trying to uh, discuss about the new architecture for the next generation mobile terminal device. And uh, uh, we developed the new architecture called Lu Architecture. Actually, I spent 15 years uh, in developing this next generation architecture. And uh, we developed this architecture for the next generation smartphone, including iPhone and the Android phone and the other platform. So uh, the new architecture including a couple of uh, different issues. The first is the networking architecture. Okay, so the so, so, so new architecture, uh, we call loop architecture again, actually is based on the user-centric networking architecture, uh, meaning what? Uh, meaning in the future, the mobile user actually is open to any wireless carriers, and the user can select and optimize the wireless carriers by himself. So uh, if you like it, which carrier whatever prefer, and they can press the button there, or the network can automatically pick up the best uh, uh, um, carriers for the users uh, based on some 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 rules of course so rates uh, uh, quality of service uh, and uh, performance or whatever is defined by the user so that's the user centric architecture and if you look at uh, the current solution iPhone or Android platform whatever they still uh, uh, limited by the carrier centric uh, if you sign up for AT&T you cannot change anything right so it's stuck in AT&T uh, if you can if sign up for Flyzen you, you're stuck in the Flyzen uh, even some 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 handphones can support two uh, standards there, but it's still uh, limited by the very uh, limited by the ex uh, specific carrier. So that's the first issue. The second issue we're talking about the cloud uh, cloud cloud architecture. Uh, the new architecture uh, I call mobile cloud. So it actually is open to any uh, virtual mobile service anywhere. So uh, so user can can push all his procession or whatever issue there from terminal to the mobile cloud and actually mobile cloud is basically is a virtual mobile server so you can define any computer with a with an IP address uh, uh, become the virtual mobile server and we compare to the iPhone uh, to, the, to the Google phone uh, they are limited to a specific data centers so you have to use in the, the carriers data centers uh, for, the, for the for the cloud so uh, so that's different so we are open to any virtual mobile service you can define any computers with IP address uh, to be a virtual mobile server and then connect to, to, the, to the terminals. So the terminal basically is a mobile cloud client and then and the virtual mobile server is a server, is a client server model. So that's a very new technologies. And the, the third one is a wireless architecture. Okay? So we're using the open wireless architecture and the, uh, uh, actually it's convergence of, of, of cellular wireless and the wireless LAN and wireless PAM and the Problem wise success. So actually, it's convergence of any wireless standards there. So users, so users terminal is open to any wireless standards. And right now, you, 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 everyone know uh, uh, iPhone or uh, uh, Android phone, whatever, is limited to to the uh, uh, GSM, uh, TDMA, uh, CDMA, whatever, whatever you call 3G, 4G right now, LTE. It's still limited to to a specific radio transmission technologies. So in the future, we are open. So we are, we are basically basically based on the open wireless architecture. And uh, uh, how we can do that? Uh, support multiple wireless standards. I think there's one slide I mentioned later. Uh, we have we developed technologies called open wireless architecture for almost 20 years, and uh, uh, this uh, virtualization layer we can support multiple radio transmission technologies. So uh, uh, the baseband actually can support any wireless standards there. So different wireless standards we put into the car we call next generation SIM car. So that's that's I already talked uh, talk about it uh, last time, and that, uh, that's the wireless architecture. So the, uh, uh, and move to the mobility architecture. So mobility architecture when you use the mobile, okay, of course mobile communication is very important issue. Is you have the seamless mobility, right? Also can support uh, the broadband uh, uh, transmission when you move. So uh, our technology called OWA mobility convergence. So actually we can we can convergence of uh, traditional uh, cellular mobile, and then mobile wireless LAN, mobile broadband wireless access, and then uh, mobile uh, wireless metropolitan area network so you don't have to you don't have to rely on the the, the traditional cellular carrier like AT&T uh, uh, Verizon whatever you can support mobility so in the future the mobile phone can support mobility without AT&T without Verizon so that's the future so and right now you know uh, uh, the iPhone or the Android platform whatever they're still limited to the traditional cellular models so you have to limit your cellular networks you have to sign up for AT&T you have to sign up T-Mobile you, you have to sign up uh, for the Flyzen in order to get a more uh, mobility features. So in the future, it's, it's going to change. Uh, you can use in mobile wide LAN, what is LAN to provide a mobility. So that's a mobility architecture. Okay. And we're talking about uh, the terminal architecture. 
So turn the architecture, we use an OWA, Open System and Transmission. So basically it means what? This means when you're changing the wireless standards, you don't, have, you don't have to change in the wireless terminal. So that's very important. Again, I'm back, back to these slides. Uh, if you see the, the left side, we have a portable AI interface modules we call next generation SIM card. So when you change the wireless standards, you don't have to change your wireless device. You can just change your wireless car. You change your car, you change your standards. The device still stays. So that's the total uh, leverage node approach in architecture, system architecture uh, for the next generation terminal. So we call open wireless architecture. Okay. So back to this one. So uh, and compared to the existing iPhone and the Android phone platform, you can see uh, this still using the closed system and the transmission. So when the user changes the standards, they have to change the device. So the user must change your mobile terminal device when changing wireless standards. So that's that's the uh, different approach. So that's all. And next is a security architecture. So security architecture, we're using very innovative uh, mobile DNA for the cyber physical systems. So mobile DNA means what? Means in the uh, cyber DNA in the wireless transmissions system and the service, both from the low layer, physical layer, Mac layer to the application layer, we put some DNA, DNA there. So DNA can put in the contents, DNA can put in the transmission, DNA can put in the system uh, 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 implementation. So DNA can put there, and then how to define the DNA, and uh, I have a patterns, a, a detail about it, how to define the DNA algorithm, whatever issue there. So the DNA from physical low layer to the high layer, we have DNA over there. So it's very secure. So especially in the in future, uh, we can strongly support the cyber security. Uh, when the user are using the terminals for the banking, uh, for the uh, 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 personal uh, privacy, uh, or whatever it is there, is a, is, a, is, a, is a very strong security solution there. So right now, compared to the right now iPhone and Android platform, they don't have any security core architecture there. They, of course, they have some application level layer security consideration there, but they don't have the low layers. They don't have a transmission side, or even low layers, they have a security concern. So we have, we have a mobile DNA put there, so that's a security architecture. And I, uh, uh, if you look at, uh, uh, as I said last time, uh, uh, I, I also, uh, I, I mean, I have 20 years experience in the technical experience, and I also have eight years, almost eight years, uh, uh, IPR laws, pattern laws there. So, and I developed a technology uh, to evaluate and evaluate the pattern, the pattern values uh, we call uh, IPR trees and I trees. So, so, for example, it's for mobile device. For mobile device, normally, we have four I trees, four trees. Uh, the first one is transmission, of course, including networking, uh, uh, baseband, uh, RF, antenna, uh, transceiver, whatever to the to what is transmissions, right? So the first uh, first I tree is a transmission. The second one is user interface. Okay, user machine interface. That's the that's the I tree, and the third one is power management because in the mobile device, the uh, the, the power uh, uh, consumption is very important. So power management is very Critical issue. The, the the first the first tree is is a OS service and application we call OSI trees. So basically, if you look at it, if you look at it from from a legal point of view, from the from from a patent law point of view, if you look at the mobile device, we totally have four trees. We call I I trees, transmission, user interface, power management, and the OSI, uh, OS service and application. So. That's the very important for the for the for the for legal point of view to protect the intellectual property. So so for these four trees, uh, uh, you probably know Apple and Google. Apple they have two trees, right? User interface OS and Google have OS uh, trees there. And and and, and my architecture and my technology basically we have a transmission. We base, we focus on the transmission uh, transmission uh, uh, trees. So so. Uh, in my tech, uh, technology's architecture, we have an open wireless architecture and a mobile cloud core. Actually, this belongs to one tree, uh, transmission trees. So all that we converge the wireless transmission, networking, and virtualization, that's one tree. Uh, of course, uh, you compare to the, uh, to the Apple and the Google, they have uh, 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 OS trees, and also Apple have a user interface trees. So that's, uh, that's the different values of the architecture. And last one, uh, architecture, last architecture is very interesting, is uh, using our architecture, uh, architecture based on the open wireless architecture and the mobile cloud, we can support converged terrestrial and uh, airborne networks. It means what? Well, it means in the future, when you get an aircraft uh, from land to the sky, they, uh, we can support seamless connected across land and sky. So when the mobile phone uh, from land to the sky automatically uh, shut off, shut down uh, uh, the land transceiver and then switch to the, to the, to the airborne, 
uh, 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 radio transmission technology. So the users doesn't have to turn off the mobile phone in the sky. And of course, right now, whatever smartphone there, you have to use it, have to turn off the mobile phone when in the sky. So that's the last one there. So a couple of stuff, other issues there, that's our technologies called blue architectures. And uh, basically, uh, uh, I think the most important issue is the core issue is OWA, open wireless architecture and the mobile cloud architecture. So this is means what actually support user-centric instead of carrier-centric mobile cloud and based on the open wireless architecture mobile cloud infrastructure. So basically what we have four parts, okay? We have internet, of course, this, this is, the internet is a backbone network. And uh, uh, also we have, well, we have uh, uh, multiple wireless carriers, uh, multiple wireless network supporting OFDM, uh, T TDMA, CDMA, whatever. Uh, 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 cellular wireless network and also some local wireless area network, wireless LAN, wireless PAN, and wireless MAN, BWA, whatever, wireless network. And also, we defined uh, very important is a virtual mobile server. And uh, virtual mobile server is, is, is actually is any computer, is any networking uh, uh, equipment as long as you have IP access, right? So we define this one, you can, def you, can use, you can define your home computer, your office computer, any computer with an IP address as a virtual mobile server, okay? And then we have a mobile terminal device. Actually, mobile terminal device is a virtual cloud server. So, and then we establish the client, mo uh, server, client server models there. So the user, uh, in, the, in the user's terminal side, we try to push, to push uh, 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 as much as possible the procession, including the application procession, networking procession, a signal procession, and everything to the virtual mobile server. So the, in the future, the mobile terminal will be very simple. Okay, very simple. So open, simple, and personal. Then push to the mobile, uh, mobile virtual mobile server. Okay, and then the other size for the mobile device device size connected to the to the various uh, different uh, wireless network, wireless carriers, including cellular, mobile, and also the fixed wireless access, whatever should there. And then we're using a select optimized model. We can user can select any any wireless network if he want, he prefer. Okay, and then the network system can optimize from the, from from different uh, uh, point of view from the quality of service quality of service from the performance size, whatever should be, the network can optimize the connection and the user can select the network he like. Okay, and then this model. And then all these four parts, four parts, we call four nodes, can synchronize each other there. So, and then we, and then four, uh, four parts, we construct a very strong mobile cloud infrastructure. Okay, of course, in order to support this mobile cloud infrastructure, the, the mobile device has to support open wireless architecture. Oh, that's that's the uh, very important issue. So this architecture, this infrastructure, I mean, that's very important for us. And uh, as I say, uh, this one I already mentioned. This will put in one trip, OWA baseband trip. So when you when you have this OWA baseband trip in a terminal in a mobile in a mobile device, and the device can basically support multiple wireless standards, and also can 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 work with the mobile cloud architecture, and then. Uh, uh, construct the whole mobile cloud infrastructure. So that's all my presentation today. And uh, uh, if any any question, uh, just uh, uh, raise your hands there, and I'll, you can also can email to me. Okay. Thanks. Bye bye.